Hey everybody, this is uh, Rockness. Uh, today we're just gonna look at the TDA 7492P. Now this is a Bluetooth amplifier. Now the reason why I picked this up, I picked this up for about 12 bucks. Yeah, it's because I got some, uh, uh, you know, my, my daughter got into an accident a couple months ago and I took these 5x7s out of her car. So I figured I was gonna do a quick project, uh, like a weekend project. I just wanted to make a Bluetooth box, speaker box for the, the patio. Now, I bought this for like 12 bucks. I got eh, some speaker gasket. Like I said, two five by sevens. A power adapter for I think six bucks I bought this for. Some 3M super glue. And what I'm going to cover the speaker box with is this uh, just spread over your subwoofer carpet. It's cheap. It cost me like six bucks. And I got me a pack of uh, screws. All right. Oh, yeah. Plus, I, got, I bought a 1x8 common wood board. It's about like a half inch thick. Now, all together, I paid about maybe 38 bucks for all the supplies I got. Now, any tools I get, I'm just going to use my existing tools and nothing else. Now, I'm not a carpenter or anything, but I'm just going to put it together and just basically see how it sounds like and how it looks. I'll get right back to you guys. Okay, I'm done with the box, and it didn't turn out as bad as I thought it would. I mean, I'm not a carpenter, so I did have a lot of uh, imperfections on the wood itself. But I used this carpet and this covered up uh, all my blemishes that are on here. But it actually came out pretty good. It's a very simple box and I've got the, the port in the back. I also, uh, I also forgot to mention that I had to actually get another uh, extension cable to connect this to the amplifier. And then this out to the DC jack out to here so I can go ahead and connect a power supply to it. And the power supply connects simply enough. I wanted it recessed because I didn't want it sticking out that much just in case it bangs up against the wall. But you know, it fits fine and one thing I wanted to point out when I plug this in, when I first plug this in, you're going to hear like a loud, uh, like a pop noise. Well, not a pop noise, but just a, I guess it's turning on. Let me see if, I can, if you guys can hear that. Let's see here. Yeah, that's pretty loud, and it does that every time you plug it in. Now, uh, I'm going to have it with a, just another, uh, another power strip with a on and off switch on there, so I can just turn it on and off, but it does this every time you turn it on, uh, just to let, let you guys be aware of that. Plus, also, uh, let's see here. It pairs pretty quickly. You just turn your Bluetooth on and whatever device you have, your phone or portable device, Let's see here. Now, I'm using a uh, Apple 6S for this. Now it's under, uh, I guess, their version of uh, Elegant Audio, but LGant Audio. Now it pairs pretty fast. Now one thing you have to remember: uh, when I first put this together, when I had it plugged into just the outlet onto the wall, there was like a a pretty uh, loud hum. Well, not really loud, but like a background hum or some type of distortion in the back. I think it has to do with the, the Bluetooth antenna, the Bluetooth antenna that's attached to the, the board. Now, once I plugged it into a, some type of power outlet or surge protector, it cleared it up uh, pretty well. Now, uh, it's, it's barely noticeable right now. now. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, don't, don't mind my dogs. They're asking me real loud. Uh, real fussy right now. Let's see here. And it actually sounds pretty good. And it gets pretty loud. And I'm sure I'll for them. Well, I don't want to get flagged by YouTube, but it sounds pretty good. It doesn't look bad, and I'm going to put it in my patio and make a little shelf on the wall and just mount this and, like I said, have a 
power strip with a on and off button on there so whenever one of my family members can go in there they'll just go ahead and turn it on and turn it off now the sound quality on here is uh it pushes the the mids are more pronounced the highs are pretty rolled off and surprisingly enough with these five by sevens i get a uh, uh, some good amount of bass and oh, shoot i just wanted to share that with you guys and uh i hope you enjoyed the video and i'll talk to you later